It feels very early 2000s. The look back Those are low camera. slung jeans. Honestly, they are. Really low. They're coming back. Yeah. Do we bring do we bring this look back? No. No. We haven't watched this in a very long time, so. We got the video like concept um to shoot in Hawaii mm -hmm. which we were very we were excited like, yes. about we were like yes even though i'm sure the budget of this video was insane insane um so now as an independent artist i'm looking at this going why did we waste this much money on this video we had mark webb direct this video which is really cool he was doing music videos at the time and hadn't gotten into directing as a filmmaker so this was like i feel like he'd done chemical romance maybe at this point yeah, he had definitely done some, and some like, like male rock bands. Yeah, some big music videos. But we became friends with a lot of the surfers um, on this island. So like Makua Rothman, which is right, right there. there. Keppa Cruz, who's right there. Like literally became <laughs> Keppa. <laughs> like I love these guys. We became like part of the surf culture for like a week. It was and hilarious. It's funny because we're California kids. You know, we've lived in California most of our life. And the fact that we have never surfed is like uh, a joke. Is a joke. But um, I think we didn't do that because of like my mom being, or our mom being like scared we'd get injured. Or like eaten by a shark. Or that. Yeah, insane. I guess, which is so stupid. But um, <laughs> it is possible. Here's us busking. I think our mom's in one of these shows. Yeah, she is. She's coming up As soon. Like a so our background. dad recently visited, he went to Hawaii and visited this jewelry shop and oh, took yeah, a photo oh, yeah, in front of did. it. It's like an old shell there's shop. Mom. It's been around for years. Oh my gosh, there's our mom. That's funny. We haven't seen this in a long time. Guys, hidden fun facts in this video. Um, we made money that day. Yeah, we, we're, we're counting our cash because we were busking, which we didn't even know what that meant. Like mm -mm. in the video, Mark we were like, what explain. is that? They were like, oh gosh, they're like, but they're young. They don't know this. We were 14 and 16. Yeah, we were, were babies in this. Here's um, us at a pawn shop, which we've never been into. No, I don't, I don't think so. Not that I'd be opposed to it. No, I'd buy a great mic from a pawn yeah, shop. Yeah, I mean, we probably got that for a great deal. These outfits, I actually think are cute. Are actually kind of cute. Like yeah. I'm, I'm okay with this style. This is not cringy to me. I love our coordinated electric guitar moves. I know. Like our like, oh. Mm. We don't own these guitars anymore. <laughs> yeah, our little moves are our moves co or coordinated. Um, I personally really love the evening stuff. Um, the bonfire. By the bonfire. Yeah, me too. I love the lighting. I think it's done really well. I love that we're in like hoodies. Like there's just something really cute about that moment. It feels very early two thousands. The look back. Those are the low camera. slung jeans. Honestly. They are. Really low. They're coming back. Yeah. Do we bring do we bring this look back? No. No. We leave it. That's cute and then we say but goodbye. I think this video is actually pretty good. I think for it's like really an good. early two thousands video. It's not cringy to me. It doesn't me. feel cringe. No. There's definitely ones in our repertoire that are cringy. So I'm glad we could share one that isn't. Me too. To and I love I love that it's um that it takes place in Hawaii. Yeah. Which is a place that we've been to many times. Yeah, it's very special to us. But I think, like, one thing that we added into the concept was the sand. The sand. And, which is, that actually is kind of cringy. Where I it's don't like think collecting so. sand from all these different, and also there's one that says Canada. It's like, okay. <laughs> we went to we a went Canadian to Canada. beach. And we're like, we need to get sand from Canada. Maybe we went to Tofino or something. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, we have Hawaii, Canada, like, there's like little California, tins of sand. It's pretty It's kind of cute. Yeah. I wonder where those tins of sand are now in a storage facility mm -hmm. with all of the sentimentals. Well, Rush really was pushed as the first single and it was the hope for Ali and I as well as the label. Like I think we were all very much yeah. on the same page that that song was gonna kind of launch everything. And the record um, was called Into the Rush, so it, yeah. I think it kind of made sense for that to be the first Yeah, single. and I think the surf idea was kind of an interesting concept because it's like two girls from California experiencing like the rush of life but also like the rush of waves like there was like this like yeah this this comparison to how a wave made you feel and so we decided like rush made sense with that concept i don't know if i would have i don't think i would change anything i, I really think it was like actually it. good for what it was as a video yeah i agree it's it's was it shot on film i think so yeah, yeah. i think everything about it like we looked natural in it we looked like we didn't look like made up Disney dolls, you know, like yeah. I, do, I really have an appreciation for where that chapter of our career took us. And I think I don't look back and go like, oh, I really wish that yeah, had there's, been there's no regrets redone. On, on that, I don't think. No. Which feels nice. Yeah, it does. We're here in Marfa, Texas to meet with Ellie and AJ, who have recently finished recording their album with Love Bone. So we shot this music video, a, a lot of parts of it, at least in Marfa, Texas. Um, where we did a lot of the like promotional imagery and um, stills and stuff for the latest record. We have like a major attachment to Marfa. 
specifically. Which is like a really special gem yeah. that most people don't really know about. But it's uh, a artist really community. cool artist community, small town, uh, about six hours outside of Dallas. Mm -hmm. And then obviously there's a lot of like live footage that's also in here from our past tour. Yeah, so this look is from the Hollywood Bowl MSG era where we yeah. played with Ben Platt. So I think right before we went on stage, we shot some yeah, of Yeah, we shot exteriors. some of this stuff like on the road, yeah. And then I love the opening credits. Yeah, me too. There's us in Vegas. A lot of the video was like Vegas meets Marfa, mm -hmm. and it was a blend of the two, and then a lot of live footage. So like that's us. And it was storming in, in Seattle in Marfa and Vegas, like when we were making this, which was really kind of just it was a very interesting energy yeah, that the, the storm, storm like, was like following us. us. Like full on lightning, rain. This is like our favorite restaurant in Marfa. It's a burrito it's so shop. Good. It's so good. Um, it was really windy. It, I mean, it was storming like crazy. Um, we dressed ourselves for the music yeah. video, which I really love. Like all of the items are mainly vintage. I think I'm wearing this same suede jacket. Um, and then a lot of the live footage is like either us at the time we were on the Ben Platt tour yeah. Or it's us at a festival. Like, I think Beach Life is in here quite a bit. That's our album cover. Oh, yeah, you're right. That, that was shot. like a shot of it. No, I think this was from, um, not Beach Life. Beach oh, Life not Beach Life. Yet. Um, the one by the water. See Here Now. Yeah, See Here yeah, Now. Yeah, in Ashbury Park. Um, but it was cool. It was like just AJ and I and, my, husband. and my husband, who's like our creative director and shoots very different music budget. videos. Very ben different Rush. budget. Yeah, very. Shooting in this way, I think, is actually really inspiring, and I like that we are collecting all these images on the fly. And I don't know, it feels like a diary. We got kicked out of that location. Oh yeah, we did. That in was back, that was backstage somewhere. It was like behind the MGM. We were like trying to get exterior shots, and this guy was like, "You can't shoot." They here. were like, uh, "Miss, you cannot." And we were like, shoot "But here. it's like us and one dude. Like we're, <laughs> we're this, like, please, this is janky. This production." And they were like, "No, we don't." <laughs> They're like, and "No, it's not. We're that, like student film." That's shot in Marfa when it was like downpour raining. Yeah. That's our favorite like liquor store in Vegas. It's yeah, just so it's cool. It's such a vibe. Like and the outside of it is beautiful. And I also love all these shots that, of our band. Yeah, They're fantastic. Yeah, I wonder what show that was. Me too. I love that it's a live piece, like it feels live because we don't have a lot of live music video footage with yeah. like a band. And everything usually is like heavy concept and just Allie and I 24 seven and it's, it's really like, nice to. Or it's like live, but like it's faked live. It's not like actual footage from a, a show. Yeah. So I love that that's intercut. This, throughout. that's the day. So see here now, the performance with Allie during the bridge is um, oh, yeah. the day we opened for Stevie Nicks yeah. because she right. headlined that day. No big so deal. I say we opened for her. kind of cool. And sadly we couldn't stay. We had to go because we that had was a, sad. a show the next, next day. Um, but I, yeah, I think the imagery for this record is really special yeah. and feels like a time capsule and an uh, experience. An, an experience. It feels like a little mini movie, which I, yeah. I really love. There's AJ it and was I having boring. some drinks. Yeah, we we're, had a drink our favorite. We're, we're a little drunk in some of these uh, for sure these shots, which is actually funny. And then us in the red and blue is like we're soaked. The rain is so insane; it almost looks fake. Yeah. It almost looks like we're on a film set, and it's one of those rain machines that comes down. And we did we did some takes you know, on one of the evenings where it was just downpour raining. Love and then at the end of it, we were like, we're soaked. Like, we're done. That's a wrap for today. You yeah. know, it was like, we're really proud of this record. And I think the... It's a really cool journey to see us from Into the Rush to what's To hear, from. yeah. And I think the sound has really um, progressed over time. I feel like we've always made music that felt very personal to us. And I think that has to do with the fact that we've always written our own music. But I think the fact that we're adults and we're really in charge of all of the visuals when it comes to imagery, to the font, to merch, like our set list. I mean, every aspect of like Ali and AJ mm. as a whole is decided by us, which feels very empowering. And I don't think we had that kind of freedom back in the day when we were kids. No. And the cool thing with being someone who's been around for so long, like Ali and I, I do feel like there's a challenge with recreating your old music and making it feel new and fresh again. And so like even this upcoming show, like all these shows coming up, we play Rush and with Left From. And they actually fit really well together because we've made Rush feel like it's a current part of our music. So it'll be sweet to now have these side by side live. Mm -hmm.